New at 11, Georgetown County braces for the last wave of flooding from Hurricane Florence. News 13's Chris Spiker is next to the bridge on U.S. 17 near Wenya Bay, where the water is expected to cut off most access to the city of Georgetown. Traffic has been reduced from four lanes to two on the bridges over the Waccamaw, PD, and Black Rivers. An aqua dam is in place, but the Department of Transportation says it may not be enough to keep 17 open. Businesses are removing their inventories and sandbagging their front doors on Georgetown's historic waterfront as flood waters from Hurricane Florence make their way to the ocean. This is an unprecedented event for South Carolina, especially in this region. On the U.S. 17 bridges over the Waccamaw, PD, and Black Rivers, DOT and National Guard crews are installing 1,000 feet of aqua dams, which fill up with water to try to block flooding from roads. The goal is to keep 17 open as long as possible, but DOT forecasts say the road will likely close. Engineers will also monitor threats to bridge safety, like erosion or how fast debris is floating. We'll be looking at that velocity to make sure there's not any lateral force pushing on the bridge. So we'll be measuring that velocity and we understand what it would take to, to actually damage the bridge. Crews are also putting 4,000 feet of aqua dams along 17 in the Waccamaw Neck area of Georgetown County towards Pawleys Island. Another bridge on 17 south of the city could also flood and... We won't be surprised at all if we lose the 701 access from Horry County coming into Georgetown County, which leaves 521 to the west as the lifeline. River flooding in the Georgetown area is expected to crest Wednesday night. Until then, county officials say they're preparing for the worst. We've watched what happened in Dillon and in Marlboro County and Marion County. As it comes down to Horry County, it's coming to Georgetown. The county has two shelters open at Georgetown High School and Waccamaw Middle School in Pawleys Island. While the county says it likely won't order mandatory evacuations, up to 8,000 people are urged to stay safe and leave flood-prone areas. Reporting in Georgetown, Chris Spiker, News 13. Georgetown County will provide free transportation tomorrow for those who need help getting to the county's shelters. Call the number on your screen between 9 tomorrow morning and 4 tomorrow afternoon to schedule a ride. The county says this is the only time it will offer this service. We've also posted the number for you right now at WBTW.com.